Microsoft could launch the new Surface Pro lineup this year. If it does, the product lineup could include Surface Pro 10, Surface Laptop 6, Surface Go 4, and Surface Laptop Studio 2. So here's what we know, what we want, and what we can realistically expect. First up, Surface Pro 10. Weird name, right? We already have a device called Surface Pro X. It's gonna be weird for people to Google. Anyways, from the previous iterations, the starting configuration will have i5U series processor, 8GB of RAM, and 128GB of storage. But it will go up to i7 processor, 32GB of RAM, and 1TB of storage. The price tag is rumored to increase with this entry starting at 1099 for Intel version and 1399 for ARM version. Speaking of ARM version, it is rumored to have SQ4 chip based on Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 CX Gen 4, but it could also have SQ3 found in the Surface Pro 9 along with 5G capability. Microsoft has been using 2K plus IPS panels for 9 years. Given these are premium devices, I would love to see OLED or micro LED panels. Unfortunately, Microsoft is likely to keep the IPS panel for this year, but there is good news regarding the display. According to some reports from Windows Central, the Pro could come with two sizes, 11 inches and 13 inches. Bezels are also likely to be trimmed. About time. But the disappointing news continues. In terms of I.O., two USB-C 3.2, one Surface Connect port and Nano SIM port. No USB-A port, no headphone jack and no micro SD card slot. Surface Pro 7 was the last device with micro SD and it is really disheartening to see them not included. It is a tablet and external storage is as necessary necessary as it can get. The type cover keyboard is going to be a separate accessory again with additional charge but it could come with minor optimizations. With Surface Pro 9, Microsoft introduced different colors and the same will be true for the next iteration. A fingerprint sensor on the type cover would be nice but it is unlikely and most probably will stay the same. So the takeaway is two screen sizes, thinner bezels, and color selection. And that seems to be pretty much it. This device seems like another iterative upgrade. And I really wish Microsoft could get serious competition in all-in-one categories. Let's wait for the official launch and then we'll assess the device. Moving on to the Surface Laptop 6. The design is likely to remain the same with same materials build. Personally, I don't think that design needs changing. I'm okay with the materials as well. There are going to be two models coming in 13 inch and 15 inch. One area where they desperately need to change things is the display. Microsoft, please trim down those bezels. XPS has been humiliating you in this category. It's about time you did something. Speaking of display, according to leaked specs, Gorilla Glass 3 will accompany the display on the Alcantara version palm rest and Gorilla Glass 5 will accompany the display with the metal palm rest. The good news is the USB-A and the headphone jack will remain. I can't believe retention of existing features is considered good news. But hey, this is the era we live in. One thing that is unlikely to happen is the wider color selection. I hope they bring more colors and models. So to sum up, seems like another iterative upgrade with some significant under the hood changes. All right. Time to talk about the mini on-the-go tablet, the Surface Go 4. Earlier this year, we had reports saying that an ARM version is being worked on. But just recently, we got a report that ARM version has been delayed for this year and instead Microsoft will go with Intel N200 instead. Speculation indicates that because of Surface Go's heavy emphasis on business client base, many systems are not ready to adapt Windows on ARM just yet. Regardless, it is a noticeable upgrade from the Surface Go 3 which featured a measly i3 10 100Y. The rest of the specs are likely to be an iterative upgrade. I daily drive Surface Laptop Studio, one of the best devices I've ever used. The second iteration is supposed to get the Intel i7 13700H and 13800H up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and RTX 4060. This is the first time that Surface family of products is gonna get up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. The business model of Studio is still unclear and we don't know if they are making any improvements to the hinge. It's pretty solid but new and sturdier design is always welcomed. Bigger trackpad, USB-A and better battery life are some of the substantial changes that we want. Design-wise, I think they're gonna play it safe, but specs-wise, this thing is definitely a huge upgrade. Alright, these were the changes that we know of. The rest of the things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, storage speed, and battery life are supposedly going to get slightly better like they do every launch. Every year, I expect Microsoft to surprise us with big radical changes, but every time they make incremental and iterative changes. A big part of it is because Microsoft depends on a lot of businesses that use their Surface ecosystem. It's okay, but kind of a letdown when we have MacBooks with M-series processors and XPS pushing the envelope in technology and design. Although I still 
prefer Surface implementation of all-in-one devices. It's like with Samsung foldables. It doesn't matter what the competition is because it's always a safe bet. Are you excited for these new devices? Will you upgrade this year? With that being said, this is Rogue Hat. I hope you guys enjoyed this perspective. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys later.